Well, hello, I'm Mark Aaron with River City TV. Today we're out at the Institute for Advanced Learning and Research, continuing our behind the scenes look at a lot of the research that's going on right here in our region at the Institute. And joining me today is one of their senior scientists, Dr. Kading Dong. And uh, Dr. Kadong, I really appreciate you taking the time to join us today. And we're talking about something very unique in this region today. It is the purple sweet potato and a lot of research that has gone into the potential for this to be a new cash crop here in our region. And uh, Doctor, I appreciate again you taking the time to join us. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the research that has been done just in the last couple of years here at the Institute when it comes to the purple sweet potato. Tell me a little bit about uh, how this all started here um, at the Institute and how we hope that this will benefit uh, you know growers here in our region. Yes, uh, purple sweet potato as you see is a, a high value crop. We are, I'm, my group here is working on the high value horticulture because purple sweet, sweet potato is a very precious uh, high value crop. That okay. It contains a high value of the anthocyanin, the purple color. People always normally talk about the purple color. And we are thinking about the purple uh, blueberry. Okay. Actually, purple sweet potato in some research, I think that they, are, they have the same value as blueberry, but of course purple sweet potato is uh, much easier to grow. Very That's easy. why we introduced uh, all different uh, of the varieties from around the world, some of the varieties from the uh, Burma, some of the varieties from Japan, some of the varieties from uh, US. Yeah. We test uh, these varieties here to get the results which variety is suited in this region, this climate, this sea. This soil. All right. So what you see here behind us, you're seeing the video of now there's eight different types of purple sweet potatoes that the Institute has been doing research on here. And you can see the two that have really produced the best yield. And that's the ones that they're going to be showcasing today to actually 12 different growers here in our community. Because as the doctor said, uh, we're all familiar with the orange sweet potato, but the health benefits are much greater for the purple sweet potato and also uh, the cash crop and the benefit per yield uh, for the growers here in our community can be very beneficial. So um, we're kind of introducing maybe a new cash crop here to our region. So this is something the Institute's been working on. Uh, how long have you all been doing the research when it comes to the purple sweet potato? For the purple, purple sweet potato, we've been working on purple sweet potato for three years. For about yeah. three years here three at the years, Institute. Yes. Started from uh, lab to greenhouse, now we move it to the field. So, Doc, I, I know you, you've been working with the purple sweet potato, but you're also working with other crops here um, at the Institute as well, trying to benefit the, with local growers, right? Yes, I'm working on the high-value horticulture. Uh, now, presently, I'm working on purple sweet potato. I'm working on the uh, Asian pear bagging, and uh, I'm also working on the English cucumber grafting. Very good. Well, yeah. well, Doctor, I really appreciate you taking the time to join us today, introducing us to the purple sweet potato and the benefits of this crop, and maybe even uh, growers here in our community starting to produce it here in our region. So that's, that's what I, want, what I try to do. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. thank you, Doc. We appreciate it. And we look forward to uh, coming back maybe in the future to talk about some of the other crops yeah. that you're working on here at the Institute for Advanced Learning and Research. Thank you. Well, joining me now is Dustin Haber, who is the executive chef here at the Institute for Advanced Learning and Research. And we're going to be talking about uh, some ways that uh, you all at home can enjoy the purple sweet potato. Absolutely. Because as these uh, local farmers grow these in our region, obviously they're going to need to sell those to local restaurants Absolutely. here in our region. And uh, you're going to t actually give us a little showcase today. And we're Absolutely. going to see some video of you preparing these for some of the local growers that will be at, at the seminar here at the Institute uh, later on today. But tell me a little bit about We talked about the health benefits are obviously there for the purple sweet potato. But uh, these will also bring in a little extra cash value versus your orange sweet potato, right? Yes, absolutely. The The level of profitability on these is phenomenal. The cost on them alone is five times your regular sweet potato. Wow. And you're not restricted at all. It's just as versatile or if not more versatile than your average potato. Okay, so tell me, what will you all be uh, showcasing today as you're preparing some dishes for the farmers? Well, today we're going to handle three different kinds. I'm going to start with a fried chip that we dust in cinnamon and sugar. We'll also do a puree, uh, like a purple sweet potato mash. Mm -hmm. And in addition, we'll just be cubing it and baking it for a very simple, healthy uh, style for 
for dinner. Okay, so you'll basically be able to do the same things that you can do with your, your basic orange sweet potato. You'll be able to do with the purple sweet potato with a, with a little different and, uh, I guess, uh, brighter color, I guess you'd say. Absolutely. It adds a great level of flair to the plate, and uh, it's very, very eye-catching. Well, uh, Dustin, I appreciate you taking the time to join Thank us you. today. And I know we, we talked about you being the executive chef here, so you're serving up some great dishes at the restaurant here at the Institute year-round. And I know you're going to be showcasing the uh, purple sweet potato today. Absolutely. Today's menu is Salisbury steak. We're going to feature the purple baked sweet potato with some roasted acorn squash, some grilled mushrooms and onions. And uh, for the vegetarians, we'll have eggplant parmesan today. So what are your hours of operation where they can come out and taste some of the great things you offer here at the Institute? Uh, thank you for asking. We're open Monday through Friday. Uh, we're here for lunch, 11 to 1.30. Uh, lunch buffet, $7.22 for one trip. Comes with a salad bar and a drink. Best deal in town. Very good. Well, Dustin, we appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it.